This very well could be the biggest air conditioner you've ever seen in your life. This thing's pulling 100 amps per phase. Per phase. Have a look at this thing. TJ, this thing's enormous. It's... <laughs> Mate, I've seen tiny homes this big. So what we're looking at is an air conditioner for a gymnasium that we need to power up. I've already begin, begun running a 35mm 4-core um, from the switchboard in the um, gymnasium itself. And we need to come out here. And I'll show you around because we, I actually had a few problems trying to work out what I was going to do. Initially, I was putting the switchboard on this far back wall. And this big duct here was not built. So I cut the cable over there. <laughs> And then I came back the next day and this was built, which is very silly. So I need to extend the cable. And what we are going to be doing is cable tray on the ground like this all the way around and in. But that's not everything that we need to do. We also need to put in an isolation point. So obviously it's going to be difficult to put four core on earth, 35 mil into an isolator, even if it is a 100 amp isolator. So what we're opting for is a subboard. Basically I can have a subboard control the air conditioner direct so long as the subboard is the only or the air conditioner is the only thing controlled in that subboard basically you're using a switchboard as a point of isolation we're coming along here with cable tray and then i'm going to put an upstand probably on this corner upstand here with a weatherproof mount switchboard at 1200 high say and that's going to have our lockable isolator and we're going to put it in here now i haven't done a lot of cable tray so I've brought some help from one of my commercial friends, TJ, and he is going to um, basically hold my hand through this process and show me the best way to do it. Isn't that right, TJ? I'll do my best. <laughs> All right, we, we have to fucking haul ass here because we've got a lot to do. But basically, 16 metres of tray, we've got cover. We're going to be all threading this. Um, first up we're going to do is grab our laser level and check some lines in to make sure that this cable tray is nice and straight. <laughs> All right, we have made a ton of progress very quickly, which is fucking awesome. So we are all the way across. We've still got to get this turn finalized, but this is more or less done, but I'm really happy with this. This is all going to get covered as well. And then what we've got left to do is essentially it's on this side here. As you can see, I'm stripping up to do a join here because uh, originally we was going to put the switchboard here but then the mech plumbers came and put this here and I wasn't aware. So accessibility into this area is out of the question. So now we have to extend this and we're going to do a freestanding switchboard over on the end. Just watch yourself buddy. Yeah, I'm staying still. <laughs> I don't know where it was. Dude, you fucking serious, look at that. <laughs> Oh, we're a bit short though. That's all right. We'll just add a little piece. What is it? We're gonna be 2.4 mechanically protected. Or would you deem this spot now not accessible? I don't think it's very accessible. You have to get on down on all fours to be able to get in here. Yeah, I agree. I'll sleeve it in conduit. That's fucking sick though. That's gonna look. Yeah, you nailed that. That's gonna fucking look really good, isn't it? You actually nailed that. We've never had doing it before. Yeah, this is Meccano for big yeah, boys. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> big, big boy Meccano. I'll grab another set of joiners. All right. Let's join. Hey, so we actually did all seven mandatory tests on this job, but the amount of footage I got was probably about the same size as the episode you're watching now. So I've pulled it out and actually made it into Sunday's episode for you guys because one, I believe it's really important. And two, I didn't want to cut the too much fat out of this video or make it a 45 minute video. So. Sunday 8 a.m. you're going to get the seven mandatory tests portion of what we're doing here. Um, not all seven tests were provided or need, needed because there's no ICDs on this job. So if you want to see how I did my mandatory tests on this job before I connected it, Sunday 8 a.m. Make sure you're subscribed and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Look what I have, huh? Look how sexy this thing is. We're a baby. I only bought this because I got really sad about something at work. And I needed retail therapy because I'm a...
Your child. Four sets of mains being stolen. <laughs> yeah, because all my mains keep getting stolen and I was sad, so I was like, I have to go and buy something to make myself feel better. Stop it. <laughs> Alright, I'm on 1% on the GoPro, so this is done. It just needs to be tech screwed to the wall. And then we can start looking at extending the cable, running the cable to where we need to go. There's still a lot to do, so make sure you watch to the end because I'm really excited to actually wire this bad boy up. Next up, we're gonna crimp some mains. All right, the joint is done. Everything is going flat battery-wise. So we are done here now. Um, TJ has thrown over some cable ties. And we're going to cable tie this, this uh, cable in. I always say this, so I'll say it again. These videos are not instructional. This is not a how-to. This is purely for entertainment purposes, not educational or instructional, instructional purposes. And uh, if you think you could do it better, you can always leave a, a nice comment because if you leave beam comments, I talk about your mum. So there's your fair fucking warning. So the main electrician is going to be connecting this up to the house now, or to the gym, sorry. So we've basically been supplied a breaker in the board. Um, we've already wired into the board, the actives. Uh, I'll show you a photo quickly, but he's going to wire in from the main feed. So we're just going to quickly lock off our circuit breaker in the board. And then that way we know we're still working nice and safe. So we'll get our lockout kit, go do that now. I had to dart off to the shops to get some bits and pieces, but uh, TJ <coughs> has been smashing through this, so he's dropping the comms cable down right now, as you can see. But we are well and truly on our way. <laughs> I'm just having a go at sorting out this uh, corner that we're gonna bend up. So I've got little lips, to, anyway, it's a mess, but you kind of get the idea. Um, so we're gonna cut that up. That's gonna be this bend here. We'll see, we'll see how good of a job I do, huh? Come and have a look. Yeah, you can kind of see what I'm doing there. I think I need to be a little bit sharper. Yeah, all right, that's what I need to do. But I can get this outside to work. Cutting just these inside lips to suit, and I reckon that's gonna be pretty good. Not bad for a first, time, first shot. Texture it in, galvanized spray. Like, to be honest, like from, be, be, be honest, right? If you, see, if you saw this, would you be like, it's not bad. Must have been a domestic bloke that did it. <laughs> Alright, next on the list is to mount this switchboard. Basically, I've got these two poles that are going to be here. We're going to mount our switchboard here with our air conditioning isolator. Um, so we're going to dynabolt this into the ground. This cable will come up the back in a bit of conduit, straight in. I haven't worked out protecting this. We might have to do another bend up, protected, and then straight into the back. Not sure, I haven't worked it out, but we're going to get these in the ball in the ground first. Sad reality, I think, is going to be this is going to have to be a metal enclosure. And the reason is, just trying to get this in and out, we have cracked the back of this switchboard, which is really annoying. It's not the end of the world. It's only going to be an extra 100 bucks or so. But I think it's going to make for a much better, much better setup. All right, I am back. And we have thrown away the idea of doing a switchboard. And here's the reason why. This, this here is a 100 amp isolator. Now, I've been doing a lot of talking with people about isolators today, so we're gonna talk about some things. But this, this was maybe triple the price, but it comes with 40 amp, uh, 40 mil glands on the bottom, and this is gonna be a lot easier to fit off. So, I've relented and I've spent more money to try and do a good job. So we're gonna go and fit this off, pull this switchboard out, and then we're gonna run into the bottom here. So basically, oh, it is sexy. 
basically we're going to mount that and then i'm going to somehow try and get these cables to come into the bottom so to be putting it on the front and then probably mounting a bit of cable tray on the front as well as mechanical protection no mucking around we're nearly done so with the cost of the switchboard originally going into the wrong location and now the switchboard itself being completely wrong we obviously are running out of time we're on the last day of school holidays here trying to get this wired up and safe to say with not having done a lot of cable trade before and these couple of mistakes, the pressure was getting to me. All right, big moment. We've tested, we've commissioned. <laughs> I'm so nervous, I've never, I've never wired anything this big. So now that we've got the reveal? isolator switched on, we are gonna go and check and make sure this thing works. <laughs> Scary shit, huh? And here it was, absolutely nothing happening. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Can you go get my multimeter, please? Yeah, she's got power. So after being on the phone to Actron Air for a little over an hour, we finally did a hard reset on this unit and we got life into her. What a relief. All right. Well, that's job done. How good's that, huh? This is my first time doing cable trace. So I think I did a pretty okay job, but let me know what you think. This obviously was a bit of a challenge, getting all this right, initially being a subboard and stuff, but yeah, 100 amp supply is a dicey thing to do. So um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you are not. See you on the next one.